Tom had an equal number of blue and red marbles. He gave away five nine of his red marbles and sold 49 blue marbles. So this is the model that I came up with. Notice there are nine parts of red marbles and five out of nine were given away. So let me write it down. And every time when we deal with um, fractions, since they are of the same portions, we will want to cut them into equal parts. So since on the top they cut into nine parts, the bottom one, I'm going to cut it to nine parts. And then the next portion, they say he sold 49 marbles. But I do not know that 49 is equal to how many units. So I'm going to leave that. Instead, I'm going to look at the next sentence. In the end, he was left with one third of the marbles. This of the marbles is of the total. So I'm going to use equivalent fraction to solve the question. Let's take a look at one third. Remember, the denominator denotes the total parts. But over here, how many total parts do we have? We have 9 here and on top we have another 9. So total would be 9 plus 9 equals to 18. So I'm going to change it to 18 equivalent fractions, 18 parts, which means I'm going to multiply by 6. And on the top, the numerator, I have to multiply by 6 as well. So I get 6 out of 18. Now, this 6 out of 18 refers to the remaining parts. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 parts. So these 6 parts are the remaining, which is 1 third of the marbles. We use equivalent fractions to find out the parts. And there goes, we know how many units 49 is because since there are only two units left, which means this entire chunk is equals to 49. And the moment we find this out, we can solve the question because we know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 units is equals to 49. They want to know how many marbles did he have at first, which means we are finding 18 units. So first of all, let us find one unit. One unit is equals to 49 divided by 7 equals to 7. So 18 units will be 7 times 18, giving us 1, 2, 6, 126. And that's the final answer. So most importantly, we are using equivalent fractions to solve this particular question.